Welcome to the video lecture on time invariance of a system. In this video, we'll consider a continuous time system y of t, which is equal to x of 2t. The task is to determine is this system time invariant or not. The definition of time invariance says that a shift in the input must lead to a shift in the output. To begin with, we'll consider the input x of t. Next, I have to consider a shift in the input x of t minus t naught. Then, I'll give this to a system of operator h so that I would get the output y of t. First, I should understand the nature of the system. The nature of the system says that whatever I feed in, so say for example, I feed x of t to a system of operator h and I'll get the output y of t. The nature of the system is it multiplies t with 2 so that I'll get x of 2t. So the nature of the system says that wherever it finds t, it multiplies with 2 and gets the output. So now I'm feeding the system with an input x of t minus t naught so that I, ha I have to get the output y of t as per the nature of the system. So I'll get x of 2t minus t naught. So it multiplies only t with 2. Therefore, I'll get x of 2t minus t naught in the first half. So next, I'll consider a shift in the output. So output is y of t. Shift in the output means y of t minus t naught. To get y of t minus t naught, I'll consider the expression for y of t. In this expression, I'll replace every t with t minus t naught. Therefore, I'll get the output y of t minus t naught. So, I'll get that x of 2. Now, I, I come across t. So, I replace this t with t minus t naught. Therefore, I finally get x of 2t minus 2t naught. So, by comparing, these two are not equal. Hence, I say that the given system is not time invariant or the given system is time variant. 